All right, welcome microphone. to the Saturday exclusive on the uh, on YouTube, Freeform YouTube. Jerry, every time I tell you we're going to start, you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what can I say? It's like I, I'm going to start I, record. I, <laughs> I was never told. I was never good at shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? So you know, I, I mouth off a lot. You know, like it's I like, said, my my opinion is the only one that matters, though. So we'll we'll, we'll keep it going. As a producer who edits very little. You make it hard sometimes making me wanna... uh, what? I can't say what? <laughs> Producer, go when you're talking over when I say let's start record as I hit record. It's like Producer. I produce this shit. John Mutt Lang. Mark on and Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I am the producer, man. I'm just fucking with you, dude. Come on. Man. And I'm a talent with. director. You Come keep on. you keep you keep both the shows together, man. You're the glue. Officer. And we got Absolutely. Joseph on here. Say hi to him. We're fucking arguing. What's up, Joe, man? Always great to have you on, buddy. Oh, here we are again. <laughs> yep. Hey, I am the producer. I'm the creator. <laughs> if you're I the producer. I, I gave you guys I'm, equal I'm the, ownership. I'm cool. Yeah, you're the producer. <laughs> Charles is a star, and I'm the only opinion that matters. Here's so the we got it. We got it done now. Yeah, there we go. Nah, I, I, I I'm, I'm the freaking straw that stirs the kettle. I'm afraid you say that little yellow thing on your chair. Is that stirs the drink. Is? Yeah, that's a uh, Metallica. Yeah, that sounds. That album sucks. And yeah. Lionel Richie dancing on the ceiling. That's better. ABC Lexicon <laughs> of Love. Tom Petty live at the Fillmore box set. Cinderella. Metallica uh, Garage Days. Long box. I see. Where's Cinderella? Cinderella's oh, a little back winner corner. Right Longo winner, yeah. 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 And then that, I see live, live Rust in there too. Yeah. And then I have Blondie's box set. Are you just like displaying them, or you just got a mess there? Going well, you on, guys right? always have shit behind you. No, I'm, I'm just saying, wanna... I'm, I'm being serious. I'm just asking you, what are you trying to do? Show I off. just put them in to, to put. I, oh, okay. Don't you notice I put new records up there almost every show? This will be gone by the. Yeah. This will be gone by the okay. next BS. Another collage will be. Yeah, there. I wasn't. I wasn't ripping you for. It. I was just asking you what you were trying to do with it. Yeah, man. So uh, the the star of the show, Charles, is going to be late, like a star. He's getting his. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's getting his makeup and his. Uh, his drink on right now, so uh, he's having his crew fucking take out the green M and M's, probably. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> looking. At, he's looking to make sure we got his rider right. You know, uh, there's no green M and M's. Uh, hey, you guys know the story of the green M and M's? Why daily? Why God. the? Why they did that? Why daily yeah. did that? You, I don't you give tell us, Joseph. Because I, I probably... don't care about M and M's. No, but just so. Tell so, so the M and M. Everyone keeps bringing up all the M and M's that they were being was No, the M and M's was there because that was like at the very bottom of the of the of the rider and they had a lot of very important technical stuff because their show was so big and they had so much stuff going on with like like safety harnesses and all this different stuff so when they got into the green room that if the m&ms were right they knew that they that the people actually read their rider and that the stage would be safe so if they knew if they walked into the room and there was brown m&ms in the bowl they knew they had to have their crew out go go out and check the stage and everything but if they got there and the, the brown M&Ms weren't in the bowl, they knew the, that the venue actually read their rider and the stage would be safe. Superstitions, man, I'm telling you. Just well, like athletes, man. That's funny. That's that's exactly what David Lee Roth does to Sammy right now. He mind melts him. Come, <laughs> come here, Sammy. Come hither. I already got the Sammy talk going on. Just got into the show. Here yeah, well, we should wait for Charles because Charles needs to get into this. This is his thing, man. But Give uh, Sammy... You give Sammy too much credit, Mark. Dave doesn't even have to do that. Dave's always on Sammy's mind. Uh, I know, <laughs> but let's let's save it for that. But uh, shit. So what's going on, music? What's going on, guys? Um, nothing, man. Just paying attention to the NFL draft, man. It's always like cool to watch. This one of my it is one of my favorite sporting events of the year. Um, pretty cool to see the future of the NFL, my favorite sport. So, other than that, you know, um, as far as new music. That I got, uh, I don't know. I can't remember what I got. I got a whole bunch of shit. I can't remember. Um, but I want to make one, one, one uh, confession to make. I mean, we talked about this last Thursday on the BS. I was really impressed with Nirvana's Unplugged album, man. I was never a big Nirvana fan, but listening to it again, man, I got to give them credit, man. They're not a bad acoustic band. You know what I mean? Uh, is it better than Alice in Chains? Not by a long shot, but it was it was uh, it was better than I thought it would be. So good for them, you know. Yeah, that was actually a very that was a very good. Uh, that was Charles's idea, right, to do that show. 
Okay. Yeah, it was his, his idea. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, he was Danny Charles is on fire with his show choices. Man. Okay, yeah. so uh, that was fun to do. I can't wait till I give you guys a Bon Jovi. Uh, I'll do it. Oh <laughs> uh, man, it's it's funny, man. I'm just bring you know Charles's triggers are Nine Armed Def Leopard and uh, talking shit about Oasis, Sammy. and Guns and Roses, and Sammy. L.A. Guns. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish you'd hurry up and get in, man. Because <laughs> everything I had written down has he needs to be in this conversation. So, Joseph, man, show show us your favorite albums, man. <laughs> uh, so one of the ones I just got in the mail not too long ago that I was really excited about was getting the deluxe edition of one of my favorite new wave of British heavy metal albums, the first Angel Witch album. Ooh, two yeah, CD deluxe, two CD deluxe edition comes with some awesome demos. Uh, got a little four four track recording from uh, BBC recording, some good uh, B sides and stuff. It's a really really good uh, sort of deluxe edition of one of my favorite uh, new wave British heavy metal albums. I got that in. Um, I'm trying to think what else I got in lately. Um, yeah. So I was talking a little bit earlier about something I love that a lot of bands have been doing. I know Rat has one coming out. Skid Row did it. Overkill did it not too long ago is bands that are putting out these big box sets of all their CDs that it's, it's, it's a cheaper alternative to getting a ton of jewel cases and you get some of this really cool stuff. They usually like this Kansas one here, it has a really cool booklet in it has all the original liner notes and everything in from all the albums. And then they all come in these really cool, like LP replica. My and even the ones like that, that had, I got the oh, other one, the one with the, yeah, you have the, like the, the five, field, the, the, field, the five. Yeah. 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 Um, this one, it's, uh, what's cool I love about this one is they include the 35th anniversary two disc edition of the live album, and it even has a gatefold and CD and everything. Uh, but I love that bands are starting to do this a lot more and I'm starting, I'm getting a lot of these. I got the dream theater one. I have a UFO one. Van Halen has one. Uh, ZZ top has one. Just a whole bunch of bands are putting out these like complete album collection box sets. And there's a really, it's a really cheap alternative to buying every single one of their albums. Is easy so Top did that, in, did that in the 80s called the Six Pack? The long yeah, box but, there. and something that's really cool about this one that they just did not too long ago, if I can get it out here, they put out the complete studio albums collection. Nice. And what's really cool for ZZ Top fans is what you brought up, Mark, that Six Pack they put out, the first three albums had that horrendous 80s mix on it with the 80s drums replacing... Yeah. Um, Beard's okay. original drums. So what's really cool is with this box set, for the first time, the original mixes of those first three albums are on CD. This is the only time you've ever been able to get the original mixes of the first three albums on CD. Nice. And like like the other one, they all have like these little like LP replica sleeves. I love those. Um but yeah, so that I love that bands are doing that. It's something I've really been enjoying getting a lot. And it also, it's a way to get into a lot of bands that you may not be really into. That's what I did with Dream Theater was I bought this box set that they put out because instead of just buying all their albums, because even if I don't like a band and I want to get into them, I buy all of their albums. I don't just buy like one or two albums. So it was a really cheaper way to get all their CDs so I could really try, try to find out what I liked. But I really love that bands are doing that. Yeah, that's cool, man. Like what? Like what? Walmart always sells those like five albums for like 20 mm -hmm. bucks. That's a cool yeah. thing too, man. Especially if you want yeah, to I have a ton of those. Yeah. Pretty and that's cool. that's also cool for a lot of bands that only have like five albums, like the, the first five Cars right. albums in a box set. I got that too. Or I have the first five Corn albums in a, in a CD box set. Uh, Faith No More has a really good one. Uh, Dawkin, Rat, they all have really good like there's five albums because I mean, there's only really five CDs you need. So yeah, they're like 20 bucks and you can't be yeah. 20, 25 bucks at the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's really cool. I know I, I wanted that ZZ top. I saw that was 50 bucks. Uh, the box that I had 30, it was like 30, there was like 30 when I got it. Yeah. I want that. Cause I have, I, I have them mostly on vinyl. Yeah. I want to get all the CDs. And it's all the albums from the first one, the whole way through Re recycler. So it's even when it gets a little iffy, but recycler was good. The, the couple before it really weren't, but like you get all those classic 70s albums. And like I said, it's the original mixes of the first three, which had never been available on. CD oh, they changed before. record companies. They went to RCA, so it doesn't have rhythm mean stuff like no, that. No, yeah, it doesn't. Recycler is the last one on here. This is all the uh, Warner Brothers albums. Yeah, I like I like I like the ones antenna rhythm mean. 
all that other stuff they did after they they got yeah. they got back to their raw sound and that live album they did for the um their documentary dude it's awesome too yeah uh charles <laughs> like everything i had had to do with him and, I, and it's fucking notes fucking things stuff that he needs to bounce off everybody it's like fucking hey dude i planned for him and it's fucking if i didn't plan for him i'd have stuff for jerry <laughs> like, yeah. all this, is definitely, sh- this is this is definitely what a bit of fun charles episode all yeah, i want well, is to show him my bringing, genesis cd i'm not bringing in all this stuff but he, he said he'll <laughs> join cool, when he can there's a cool band you guys into. i know mark's starting to get into corrosions and corrosion yeah. oh yeah i love them fucking great band you played some of them last week that was pretty cool to listen to yeah they had, some great band there. they had a great one there in a lot the of 90s shit. I mm-hmm. love revisiting music that I forgot about or haven't listened to in a long time. I'm finding I'm liking it better now that I did back then. Yeah. Like uh like White Lion's big game. I couldn't stand White Lion at first, but I listened to that album again, it wasn't that bad. I mean the, the first album still blows, but that album's not bad. I and I tried to listen to Bon Jovi, 700 degree Fahrenheit, that album still sucks. <laughs> but uh I like doing that though. Man. It's cool to listen to shit you haven't listened to in so long. So uh, Yeah. Pretty cool. Just one for some instrumental rock fans, some liquid tension experiment. Yeah, with Pertucci and uh, oh, really? yeah, I've never heard that before. Mike Portnoy. Oh, yeah, really it's a uh, first album was like very late 90s, right around when Brutus came into Dream Theater. Yeah, um, it's it's uh, Portnoy, Petrucci, Brutus, and Tony Levin on bass. Oh, Tony Levin rules, dude. Yeah, yeah, so Peter it's Gabriel and uh, yeah, what, was he, what band was he in? Gabriel Crimson, Wine? King Crimson. King Crimson. I always get those two confused. Yeah, he was in the the uh, late. He was in the the eighties line of a King Crimson, but yeah, he, yeah. Did, uh, he did bass on Floyd's Momentary Lapse of Reason. Yes, yeah, but they just released their they released two albums in like ninety nine and two thousand, and Isn't then they released Peter like Gabriel's some, bassist. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah Mas- Master of the Chapman Stick. Dude. Yeah, cool and that's he he does that a lot on this. On yeah, the, that's a cool. The that's a cool stuff. sound instrument. Yeah. Um, so they just re-released all the Liquid Tension Experiment CDs recently. They put them out on vinyl too, I think. Uh, but this uh, LTE three came out, uh, I think, either last year or the year before. Really good those, instrumental rock. Did you buy those in a pack somewhere? You got buy them individually. Probably. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I know they're not. They're not very expensive. It's like ten bucks for a CD. Oh, okay. Uh, so and like I said, they, they just re-released the first couple on CD not too long ago. These are the originals that I have, but um, cool. they they just re-released them. Like I, they're not very expensive, I don't think, on Amazon. But I really recommend if somebody's looking to get either listen to the first one. Dream Theater actually did play several of these live around this time. They would like uh, they pull out Paradigm Shift, Universal Mind, Acid Rain sometimes, um, in, incorporated in some of the instrumentalities they did. Uh, but I've I've really really enjoyed the most recent one that they did a couple of years ago. Um, anyone who's really into instrumental rock that hasn't checked this out, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, man, I I like those liquid tension experiments. Uh, the last uh, James LeBray solo album was pretty different. You heard that mm-hmm. one? Yeah, it was pretty cool. He's a fucking great singer, dude. He's another underrated vocalist, man. Yeah, just the like Gary, love just, James LeBray. Well, fucking Charles ain't coming in probably. So extreme, <laughs> fucking fucking Gary rules, man. <laughs> I'm seeing them next weekend too. <laughs> right, enjoy. On, They're playing around here, and I can't go right now. Yeah, you know? uh, the 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 festival I'm seeing next weekend. The lineup, I, I gotta pull it up here. Um, it's uh starting from the uh opening bands it's a two-day festival it's count 77 which is the guy from counting cars on the history channel he has a band uh child oh, really danny yeah. whatever his name is Danny's yeah uh, cool. the count whatever his name yeah. is he has a, he has a band uh so that they're opening uh child's play they were a local maryland band back in the 80s britney fox hey, um cool. yeah quiet riot lita ford slaughter winger extreme and Sticks is headlining Saturday night. And then Sunday, it's Mike Tramp from White Lion. Oh, God. Uh, Heaven's Edge. Uh, Vixen. The only extreme album that matters right here. Yep. <laughs> uh, Vixen, <laughs> Riley's LA Guns, Firehouse, Steven Adler, Great White, Warrant, and Kicks. 
Charles, I love you, but there's no way in hell that Steve Riley's LA Guns is better. He's, he told me. Yes, it him. is. Yes, it is. <laughs> I prefer I prefer Stephen Riley's current LA Guns to the, this la- singer to the last is couple. Terrible, man. This singer Live, is terrible, man. This singer is My opinion. My opinion. Yeah, I, I disagree. I'm with, I'm with there Mark. There he is. You must have heard us talk about LA Guns. <laughs> he I must have. Know. His ears must like... be getting warm. <laughs> Connecting, connecting, connecting. <laughs> Conjunction, junction. What's that function? <laughs> Where's that DVD at? I got that hanging around. Oh somewhere. God! <laughs> Andy Part Two, man. You guys related in any way, man? You and Andy are like, oh, you know, got God. every CD for every occasion, and, can, and it always has it right on hand too. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where where is my Schoolhouse Rock DVD at? Yeah, like, I don't know. Schoolhouse Rock. Wow. <laughs> hey, here he is the star of the must, show. Yeah. of right. He must. Uh, he must have heard us talking about LA guns and he kind he's of like, whoa, a, I gotta get into this. Show. He's arriving at fashion to be late. There it is. <laughs> the star house rock, man. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about LA guns and you go call me out. I go, oh shit, his ears must have got warm. We can't hear you. Your mic's off. Charles, your mic's off. Your mic's off. Your mic's off. Charles. Woo! Your mic. Turn your mic on. Turn your mic on. Your bike. Maybe he's doing this for comedy. I have no idea. Or is yeah, this pre- is, is this pre-recorded? <laughs> body boop, body. He's drunk. He can't even hear us. I bet you. All right. On the stars here. There he is. I there just asked go. you to unmute. You were What's muted. up, guys? I mean, I I'm a very popular person. I had to talk some uh, cheap trick against Oasis, fucking shit there for a minute. Uh, which Mark, he'll, his dick is hard right now. If somebody, nah, says I'm not even saying anything Oasis. about it. I'm letting you guys go at it. But uh, <laughs> look to me, honestly, cheap trick and Oasis are in like in the same wheelhouse. Yeah. Cheap Trick yeah. is yeah. going. Uh, 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 cheap, it's, cheap Trick's it's, actually a band that makes new music, so they're not yeah, in the same yeah, wheelhouse. Well, well, Liam and Noel do too, dickhead. And yeah, me, not not as Oasis. They won't because they're like the Kinks, which were another great rock and roll band out in England. And uh, I like they're it. in the same wheelhouse. That's all I got to say. I mean... They all bow down to the altar that is John Paul George and Ringo, which is the greatest fucking band in the history of the planet. Go ahead and shake your head there, Led Zeppelin man, Jerry Supe. And go ahead and anybody out there. Okay. Black Sabbath. I'm going to give you a little lesson real quick on the Beatles. All right. When the Beatles broke out in 1963, what was big on the charts? Elvis? I don't know. Well, he's making shitty music. Yeah, he's making shitty music. Yeah. Go ahead. Jerry, your TV's coming in. <laughs> Let's look at what else. Uh, what about uh, Chuck Berry? Oh, he was in prison for the Man Act, right? Mm-hmm. Let's look at Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, he married his cousin. His ru- his career was ruined at that point. He was playing bars, like what L.A. Guns is right now. Who was big at the time? Bobby Rydell. Monkey Fabian. Mm-hmm. Rock and roll would have been dead in the water if that music would have stayed. But what guess guess what happened around January, February 1963? Um, I don't know. A little song called I Wanna Hold Your Hand went number one. The Beatles landed the JFK. They did the Ed Sullivan show. There was no crime reported in New York City in that little period of time that they played on the new on the Ed Sullivan show. And guess what? Ozzy said that was what was for me. There would have been no rock and roll surviving if it wouldn't have been for John Paul George and Ringo. I would never debate that fact. I mean, yeah. they're, they're not my favorite band, but they're one of my favorites. So I always respect them for keeping rock and roll alive. What well, I know you're in the, you're in the Stone Stones, Stones, Jerry. 
I know well, you're in. Still better, better, but I what did know. Mick Jack? What did Mick Jack totally. say when he inducted him? You're acting totally. like you're, you're acting like I I I, I shit on the no, Beatles. No, no, no. I don't. I'm I like not still better. I'm not coming at you, Jerry. But I mean, the Beatles wrote their first hit. Absolutely, so, dude. I don't I deny that at man. all. Absolutely, man. I don't deny. Which was a throwaway song that they gave to Ringo. <laughs> Every throwaway song they gave to Ringo. Well, they gave all <laughs> that. Hey, Ringo that's was big what, in America. That's why. That's dude, what John just, said. That's what John said. John said we're not going to give the Stones anything great, right? We're going to yeah. give them a Ringo song. They made a hit of it. I mean. Yeah, but right? I never. I Beatles never. Did, you never the talk bad about the Beatles. Lovey dovey kind of shit. But. They saved rock and roll. Absolutely, dude. Without a doubt. Hands down. I mean, the only they, person I know that doesn't like the Beatles is Nate. I think everybody else in our world likes the Beatles. Well, but, <laughs> he respects but, the Beatles. Okay. Right. That's the, that's the cool thing about them. Does he? You can't, that's you what can't he deny the respect. And absolutely, dude, they saved rock and roll. I mean, people yeah, say with Elvis, I'm, fuck Elvis. He wasn't. He did not say rock and roll. The Beatles did absolutely. Um, but when he said OU812 is better than uh, fucking Women and Children <laughs> first, I had to. I, me and Lee paused for a second. And go what? Kind of, kind of lose credibility. I guess I'm just kidding. John had the balls to tell Keith Richards on the song they recorded at Chess Studio. Um, man, what was that song, Jerry? What it song? Rolling Stones, uh, it's all over now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's awesome, An awesome song, right? Yeah, didn't John they also Lennon. write She's a Rainbow too? No, they must think it's something, yeah. Else. But John Lennon told Keith Richards that solo was whack mm -hmm. on It's Over Now, and Keith Richards was like in his book, <laughs> said, You know what, Lennon was right. And I love that solo on It's Over Now. I think it's great. But John Lennon was like, nah, yeah, it's not as good as you can do. George Harrison got the fucking Rolling Stones signed. Love George. My favorite Beatle. Well, you're off base there. Yeah, but, you are. I mean, but... it's, it's McCartney. Speaking yeah, of... I'm a guitar player. I'm a guitar player, dude. I'm Speaking of Beatles. John Lennon, Lennon. John Speaking Lennon of... wrote a great Beatles song. Speaking of the Beatles, I'm, before I don't we... deny that either. I'm just saying before George is my we favorite. before we were getting on because I was, we were waiting for the uh, star of the show. I was Last listening to this band. Lineup. What an album! This is a fucking what great a... album, man. Back to front. There's not a bad song on here. Fucking great I think, album. You know they call Neil Young the Godfather of grunge. I disagree. I think Plastic Ono Band is a grunge album. 100%. What? Put that shit down. We're talking about beef. <laughs> that, was a neat, that was Neil Young. You brought up Neil Young. I got that Joseph, too. Joseph, stop. What, what do you feel about the Beatles and their relevance? Dude? Love them. They're one of my favorite bands. I mean, just that run of albums was almost unmatched by any band. I mean, just the influence they had and the music that they wrote. I mean, almost every band that ever existed has covered a Beatles song. Almost every band that ever existed drew something from the Beatles. And like they are the most influential band of all time. Here's the thing where I compare them with Led Zeppelin for one thing. They knew when to quit and their fucking legacy just keeps growing, dude. You know what I mean? The yep. Beatles and Led Zeppelin would have continued like for 30 fucking years and say a lot of Lennon didn't die or anything. They probably would have lost something in their legacy as far as, you know, that's like some bands do, like. Kiss, <laughs> but the Beatles but, uh, B sides were so yeah. much better than fucking what Zeppelin put out with uh, Coda. <laughs> well, I, I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying, man. Some those great bands know when to pack it in, dude. They had some a few. Them. They had a few doggish B sides though. But I'm saying yeah, they, they had they, better ones than Zeppelin. Their right? discography wasn't perfect, but yeah, no. I mean, look at what happened. Fucking Wings were huge. Yeah. yeah. I All their solo, Lenny solo man. albums were huge. I mean, George I think McCartney's better. solo stuff was better than the other four. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Lennon was the best in the Beatles. I think Paul McCartney was the best well, outside. Paul, of the Paul had more solo stuff, correct? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, John but died. even but even if even if you just compare well, no, like from about... what. From like seventy to eighty one, yeah, I think Paul I mean, still had the best. Oh, of all I mean, Morris. George Harrison only had what two or three. So yeah, he blew his wad with the triple album as his debut. Uh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. 
All but things see, like past is great. Yeah, but it was yeah. too much at one time. Yeah. Well, he's a beetle. He wanted to be grand. It still sold like hotcakes, though. I'm telling you what. Oh, beware of darkness! What a song! Isn't it a pity? Oh, yeah. phenomenal! What is life? It's great, but you know, after that, it was kind of like hit and miss. That that sounds like a good pick to review. We haven't reviewed Ringo. God bless him. <laughs> He's always been kind of the goofy entertainer one of the group. You know what I mean? The clown it, of the group. I'm a, in, in a good way. You know what I mean? It's like that song. one. It's like that one clip from Family Guy. Oh, Ringo wrote a song. Let's put it on the fridge. Oh, what a <laughs> yeah. what a wonderful good job, Ringo. He's the um, old. He's the oldest Beatle, right? Yeah. Yeah. By, by, by he looks the years. youngest. He yeah, looks he does the look youngest. Great. He doesn't even look like he's old at all. But, but. The Plastic Ono Band there, Mark. What an album. It's a great album. Oh, I've been listening to it for two days on vinyl, playing it over Isolation? Over. Lennon never topped that album. Yeah. No, no. Well, and I one... say to this day, Double Fantasy, it got the love because he got killed. If he yeah. would have been alive... That first Don't side is that. brilliant. That first side is brilliant. It's the second. There's side some good Yoko stuff on, on it, but on Yoko, the second side, Yoko side, no. <laughs> Just like starting over takes a whole new meaning because he died. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like other songs. I like the first side is brilliant. Second side is trash. That's... Well, and then you got the poodle on there. Yeah. It's just, oh, you know, even though she has one good song, I think uh, Yoko. She has one decent song. <laughs> you know this uh, podcast has only reviewed Beatles and one Ringo album. We haven't done any Paul McCartney or Paul McCartney or Wings or fucking John Lennon on this ship on this podcast. Yeah, I tell you what, the Lennon Claypool Delirium is a fantastic album. Yeah, Sean Lennon. Yeah, yeah, yes. I like it. It's fantastic. I like Julian Lennon. I like Valet. I like everything. Got Julian's a couple in. photographs. Mm -hmm. Photographs Much too late for goodbyes. I like this. A lot was good. I love I... Valet, the title track. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. That sounds like his dad so much on that one. That one, I go, damn, it's, it's that John Lennon. I look over at the video. Oh, fuck, that's Julian. <laughs> what did that sound just like him? Like that song, like, it was like, like a carbon copy father? of his dad, man. Yeah. He was a horrible, was a horrible father. father, too. Julian. Julian. Julian, they were just trying that's, to get back together when he died. That's what I love yeah. about John Lennon is he was real. He was a flawed individual. He was not perfect in any way. You didn't hear nothing about Paul being a dickhead, kind of, until the divorce with old oh, Peg Leg Pete. And then that wasn't even, that was bullshit too, but John was a flawed person. He was a real person. He had issues. <laughs> he wasn't raised in a great home. He had issues and he put it out there for the world, man. And and God bless him. I mean, I fuck Mark David Chapman. If nobody goes to hell, he will for real. Well, Jerry, fuck why him. were you laughing at his thing? <laughs> There's some big names he comes up with that are freaking hilarious, man. I know. But he was saying <laughs> something serious at the same time. I know, but it was just funny the way he said that. Dude. Like, like Peg Leg Pete. He's drinking drinking some 10.5 beer. So yeah. Charles, he's on a roll oh, today. Dude, man. Charles, Classic talking shit. about really, really influential British bands. I was waiting all this time for you to get on here so I could show you my incredible collection of genesis cds oh wow yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah look yeah. at i mean all, all these all these phenomenal albums you know hey, my, my so favorite. Many i listened to one the one without phil collins mm -hmm. the debut oh it that's was, trash yeah, yeah, Peter Gabriel, trash. i loved it, I loved it. the debut this one the trespass that that doesn't have phil collins this one's not bad this oh. one's pretty good it, it was this one was his first album was Nursery Crime. That I don't know awesome. Phil Collins the way I play. It's just gonna. He's a phenomenal me. drummer though. 
He's a dude, phenomenal drummer. Dude, Trick he of the okay. t- Trick of the Trail is a fucking phenomenal album. His first one singing. That fucking album rules, dude. I'll change I just, your word for you. I'm a, a bit of a that. poof. I'm a bit of a poof, and I like the Smith better than Genesis. And I and I like Peter Gabriel, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. That's my favorite. I think yeah, Johnny uh, Marr is shit. one of the most underrated guitar players in the history of the business. And uh he makes Morrissey sound decent. Yeah, I'm not too I don't know him well enough to yeah, I've never really good or bad. And he just so. switched from Genesis to the Smiths. Like if you like well jangle, well, well, Jerry likes that George Harrison. So if you like that jangly, did you ever 12, watch the show Charmed, thing, Jerry? You'll like what's it. that? Did you ever watch the show Charmed? That the Shannon Doherty shit. Yeah, with uh, uh, you know Alyssa Milano. Alyssa you wanted to watch it for that. Alyssa Milano? She was no, only if they showed their titties. Sorry for all the well, their t- their cleavage was hanging out. At least Alyssa cleavage aren't titties, man. Cleavage is cleavage. Well, the <laughs> girls watch BS more than Freeform, so go yeah. ahead and talk about titties. <laughs> I love you. I love women. You beautiful creatures, man. We love you. We love you inside and out. Jerry will like your music if you have nice tits. <laughs> You're well, one Mark to talk, likes- Mark. Mark likes the Smiths, and that's one of the rare bands we agree on. I love so. the Smiths. I love the Cure. I love Depeche Mode. Duran Duran. Hey, you weren't on here yet last week. We were talking about Ralph's Duran Duran battle. <laughs> They're not a boy band. <laughs> no. They're something. All right. I don't know what to call They're them. New. I mean. They're an 80s pop band. That's what they are. Yeah, you you know, good. Kill is the second best Bond song after... Uh, live and let die. Yeah, mine's oh, the chauffeur. Mine's my favorite. Is the chauffeur off of Rio. Love that fucking but song. I don't love them the way Mark does. I'm not gonna cream my pants and cry and we like Eric Martin at the co- comedy show kind of thing. I didn't like, cry. I was joking with a the guy. They're, they're, they're a band that I'll put a greatest hit CD on for yeah. every now and yeah, then. Yeah, I'll but... put compilation. Well, yeah, your 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 miss your your compilation doesn't have the good songs in there. It doesn't have a little too loose from um uh, the train uh, train really. Album. Little too loose. It's fucking. It starts off all bluesy. And he goes, "I got a little too loose in Oklahoma City." And then the guitar goes, "No, no, no, no." I don't say, care if she was young. You say, I don't care if she was pretty. Ooh. And he goes, "What?" As you ever watch the Gong Show? Remember the Gong Show? Remember the Gong Show? Remember the Gong Show? All right. Hey, somebody said they remember the Gong Karaoke. I did Mark Karaoke. Boy, you hear me? There you go. Woo. <laughs> you guys are supposed to go Ooh. shut up. They like my wife saying, stop that. <laughs> Do Wild Boys. Wild Do Boys, Wild Boys. boys. Never God. lose it. Wild there Boys, you go. Wild Boys. Fantastic. Somebody get the chain, pull them off. Way. Wild Boys, Wild Boys. Never close your eyes. I did like Notorious. Wild Boys. I, like no, I was terrible, too. Notorious, Notorious is their best album. No. I thought their best I, I, I album Notor- was Notorious album. is their best album. Rio is two for me. No, and then the first album. is three. And then the seven album. Album. Ragged Tigers. Wedding four. album. Wedding album. Wedding album. Wedding album six. I like the I like it all with Andy Taylor, dude. Except Notorious did have a little bit of Andy on that album. He was technically still in the band when they were recording that, but he kept leaving and they got Warren Cucurello to finish. Uh, I'm a big Zappa guy, so I got to give some love to Cucurulo. So, but in the quality over quantity, you don't like missing persons. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. The quality over quantity topic: is Stone Roses crushed Duran Duran with that Duran first album. Stone Roses album. My God, I don't even know who they were till you said them. So they weren't well, big that, in my area. That's your uh, miss. That's your fault. Listen to that. Listen to the first Stone Roses album. I don't want to like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why? Because Charles will have that on me. I don't. I didn't want to watch. I didn't want to like Anthrax, but I do now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You listen to Anthrax for him, the but Neil, not, I kept the telling Neil you Turbin to listen to Bush album. Album. Metal is their best album. Oh, no, Sound of White Noise is their best album. No, that Sound no. of White to me, it's my favorite. Fucking, it's a great it's album. A, and then Spreading the Disease. No, Medusa fucking rips. Fistful Metal. Yeah. Uh, you could do, I'll give you a fistful of metal. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like Axel on the cover today. 
if you look at the album cover, it looks like Axl Rose today with a fist coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Give me some fried no. chicken. <laughs> no, that looks like Axl Rose today. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got that throw mama from the train haircut like Charles brought up. Yeah, yeah. but he looks like a skeleton <laughs> in the hey, face man. at least. Hey, what not, not, th- not around the midsection. Slash, but... I heard Slash is actually bald. Do you think that's true? I, I can believe it. Somebody no, saw him in the back with his that. most rock you're... stars are. <laughs> I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No. Gene, yeah. Yeah. Paul, oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Axel, no. All right. Well, Axel, no. He's got the the mama, the mama from Goonies haircut. Right? <laughs> the mama from Goonies. And uh, slash, no, no, I don't believe that. Yeah, he's got yeah. that good hair. He's got the good hair. Did you? Well, guys... I mean, he's, he's he's Spanish descent, right? They have usually good yeah. thick hair, man. They never hardly go bald. Did you slash. guys? Uh... Did you he's guys see that? Buckethead, he's good. He's Did you guys good. see that new video Rush put out for losing it? The visualizer. No. It's fucking no. emotional, dude. Because they're advertising the box set, the Signals box set coming out, and they always do this. They make new videos of their old songs that comes on an album. Brilliant stuff. Fucking Spirit of the Radio is fucking. It like shows a history of Rush going through it. Pretty damn awesome. Shows your girl in uh, Cleveland. In the video, you know, <laughs> that she was playing them on so the Linda end. Carlisle put out a new album this week. Ain't listened yet, but I'm so going to So does Susanna Haas. The Linda Carlisle is still my motherfucking boo, man. If she said, come to me right now, I'm dropping. I will leave free form. I will leave all you motherfuckers and kiss my ass. I am living off of Linda Carlisle money forever. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I, I she's got I'm, that good heaven as a place on earth. I'm, I think I'm like a good five <laughs> years older than you. So when those videos came out, her yeah. hair was like Linda Carlyle was bobbed. It was like like loved it then. Don't care. The only, she, she I hated it. She did. I never got attracted to her to her first solo album where she grew her hair out. And she got a little skinnier, and she was in that video with Andy Taylor playing guitar on that. Yeah. Remember that? What was that song from her first album? The Mad Peak? About You? Mad About You, yeah. Andy Taylor played lead on that song. The guitar in that song? Yeah, Andy Taylor played the guitar on that song. She's one of the most beautiful women that ever graced Gag Dreams Earth. Didn't he produce that album? I don't know. I don't know. I don't uh, care. Well, you like uh, Andy Taylor? I'll still take Susanna Hoffs. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll take Susanna Hoffs over her. Well, but she's, she's mad married to that one director producer she's not austin be... powers guy yeah What's yeah name? linda if you just have a little spoon of coke she's gonna maybe come dude around. belinda's a beautiful woman though. I don't oh she that. is i think she got she got gorgeous on the mad about great you. beautiful but she great, loves great coke. great if you get a little playboy. coke get great a little playboy coke, spread, you're spread, <laughs> man. Coming. she's gonna play yeah. i, I sense awesome a law playboy. i sense a lawsuit coming if she ever hears this yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Belinda, Charles loves you, man. I like Susanna. Hoffman. I love you. I'll keep Coke away from you, baby. I will push you in your wheelchair, whatever you want. I love you. Every person on the planet knows you rule in my world. I, I Belinda, I, I love, I love your Playboy. I love your Playboy spread. You love your beautiful there. Playboy. You had a great landing strip, dude, going on there. And, <laughs> They're, they're with the I female audience, you. and now all yeah. the freaks are coming in. We it's started form. They watch BS. Uh, but she won't. Oh, come. yeah. I'm confused. She's not going to come to Chuck Charles. It don't matter. Never know, man. Never Even if I had a Tony Montana pile of cocaine, she's not coming this way. No. Not going <laughs> to happen. Even though I love you so much, Belinda. Love you, baby. Love you, boo. <laughs> Janet Jackson, number two. I'll push you. Body. Oh, Janet's yeah, body, man. Yeah. Holy shit. That's amazing. She Holy still looks good. Did you all see the Holly Berry was nude on her yeah, yeah, porch exactly. thing? Yeah. Good yeah. God. Man, she's still something. She can't keep a dude. Something's not right there, but she's hot. I've God, always liked Holly yeah. Berry. I only watched that I cat like... woman. I only watched that cat woman to see her in a fucking tight suit. Man, all them chicks in the go-go. Even she's still... the drummer look good. 
Halle Berry still has nothing on Michelle Pfeiffer in a cat suit, though. Uh, I don't know, man. Michelle's hot. I, don't get me wrong. I like but... Jamie Presley better than Michelle Pfeiffer. Halle, Halle oh, Berry. Oh, hey. Hey. The, the Kravitz daughter was pretty badass looking. As yeah, she was. Woman, too. Who? Mm-hmm. Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz. Oh, Zoe? Zoe? Yeah. Yeah, she's hot, too, yeah. And yeah, but I like... I, I, I'm not talking about Catwoman, but I like uh, what's her name, Jamie Presley better. <laughs> the girl from uh, the new Mary Jane and the Spider uh, Spider Man shit too, Zendaya. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's cute too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but no, Belinda, baby, I love you. <laughs> don't don't listen to me about Coke. <laughs> I know you've overcome a lot, baby. You know, I'll take care of you. Whatever you want. Just come on to the Freeform Nation one time on an interview. You won't regret it. Yeah, Char- Char- Charles will do it and send it to us here. <laughs> he ain't gonna share he ain't gonna share that interview. He doesn't yeah. want to get he'll give us his sloppy seconds later. Yeah, you'll get Charles will go do an in-person interview if you know what I mean. You'll get Kathy Valentine. You'll oh, get thanks. Her. You'll get yeah. her and like it. I would rather have Kathy. She's a badass bass player. Yeah, they're not a bad band. I want to review yeah. goes one day. Yeah, we haven't done any go. See, these are bands that I couldn't do. I couldn't do Paul McCartney. I couldn't do, but we did fucking Ringo, fucking weird album by him. Couldn't do any John Lennon, no George Harrison. I got him to do some Tom Petty's, thank God. Some Rush. But Lee was basically, my... I'm sorry, Lee was basically, no, I'm not going to fucking do it, basically. Yeah. Really? And if I did do it, I would get something like Mascara Sue. Yeah. I would get punished. <laughs> you got, you got the you, bad end of that deal, man. If, if, if you made him listen to a good album, he made you listen to a bad album, is what yes. you're saying? Are they, they are, do they have like, is there music on fucking uh, Apple Tunes? Yes. I, I, I'm curious now. I have to fucking listen to it. That's how I got it. And it was. Yeah, don't listen to it now, impression. please. I, I don't need any PTSD. No, I'm not. Uh, but uh, I can't even listen was, to that episode anymore. It hurts. It was so crushing, dude. It was. Uh, yeah. What in the fuck is this? Hey. God, don't. Don't show Lee anything like this, so he'll have a heart attack. Yeah, the shag sounded. The shag sounded like. Gary, I don't want this to get copyrighted. <laughs> now you're gonna get us a copyright. <laughs> How the fuck can you tell what that is? I don't know. What the yeah. fuck is that? This episode, I, I like these episodes not to get copyrighted. Hey, and I had to listen to the There's... old album. Those suck ass oh. bands want any scent they can get, so they'll find it. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I true, wouldn't yeah. deny that maybe the girl from Mascara Sue is probably cute. Maybe she tucked her shirt in. I don't know. Oh, oh. Snap right that, there. That, now it's all coming together. Now it's all coming hey, together. But just to let you guys know, I said sorry to Lee yesterday. We're cool. He's worried about my legs and shit. So he's a good dude. I just, I, I, he, oh, did, I know he, he is. He I know did, he is. He lost just, your shit. Yeah, well, because I sat back and now. thought about how, like, fucking, he never wanted to do shit. And I did everything he wanted to do. It kind of well, pissed me off. Cool. But you didn't say shit when it was me and Ralph did one with him. But when it was me and Lee did one solo, you got fucking hot under the Oh, because he said he would do that with us. And then he didn't. That pissed me off. <laughs> I can't make plans with him. See, we make plans and we stick to them. He makes plants and he goes, ah. he's like that one guy on TV. I don't know, but we're cool. But he fluttered too much for me. I like to be like, have everything in, you know, everything written down, ready to go. And, and it was like, he was I'm glad me y'all in. worked it out because yeah, out of the panel here beside yourself, I know Lee, not as good as you, but I know him pretty well and love me some Lee Gersman. Uh, got some wacky views here and there, but you know what? Every now and then, that dude pulls out a fucking diamond out of the rough, and he turned me on to like Coliseum Two and some other really cool shit. And uh, what's that Manny song? 
I am a big Lee Gersman supporter. So he's a cool dude, man. He's different. Fuck I like yeah. different, man. Mm-hmm. I like different. So what about cool. his fat uncle, fat, fat uncle Manny song? I can't remember the lyrics. Well, fat I mean, uncle Manny. Bugs on cheese is of all time classic. <laughs> I know, but oh, remember, yeah. remember we were making fun of Lee about the that was a classic. The fucking licking Manny's off his uncle's butt. Yeah, <laughs> the dog licking gravy and shit. But, oh, licking gravy. <laughs> there it is. Licking gravy. Ever. But uh just, just don't uh he, just don't mention Jody Grimes around Ralph Ree and <laughs> Well Jody Grind wasn't that bad. Uh it wasn't great, but it was about half good. But what really I love about Lee is that he won't want to admit it, but I sent him the new Noel Gallagher song, Shh, the new one that just dropped a week or so ago. He said it was fucking fantastic. And that's the kind of songs he would like to write. Right. I was like, I know Lee because I know good music. You're welcome. <laughs> now you just outed him on here like I out him on Bon Jovi. He loved, he well, listen to his show when we did Noel's second album and he fucking loved it. So, but which you know, Mark, he gets really mad when you turn him on to something that he, yeah, I turned, like, yeah, it was, it was six and he years. he loved it. He, he was, hates that. I know. I think, think I think that's why he was getting mad because I was turning him on oh, to so many yeah. albums the last six years. He started he giving like, me the bad ones. He, he he don't like that. When he expects it, he will hate it, and he likes it. That's why he gave yeah. me Mascara Sue, because I gave him one he liked. But we didn't like that. It was horrible. Yeah, it was horrible, man. It was beyond the pale. So to change the subject a little bit, uh, it's like Chris dropped a, a hint on his Facebook yesterday. Yeah, I sent it in the group, 2024. Wow, cool. Um, I hope it comes to fruition, man. Got to get a table, man. I know you're out, you're still not sure, Mark, but uh, I think you'll be ready by then. You should be okay. Yeah. yeah. Love to get a fucking table for that, dude. Yeah, how dude. Do you arrange? Yeah. How do you arrange to get, like, the guests or the guests to be on here? You can you yeah, they, do it for, they do it for you. They give you an itinerary. Yeah, itinerary. You pay for the oh, table, okay. and then you put your you put your name in a pot for the fucking interviews, and then you get what you get. That's part much. of the guest being there. They have to do that's kind of cool. Okay, cool. Which yeah. was which was interesting because the Night Ranger had nobody, and they asked Mark to do it. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, I forgot. And I love Night, Night, how much I love Night Ranger. The Night Ranger podcast. I but, went uh, past that booth three times. I never it, saw it. The, worst, either, man. the yeah. worst viewed BS episode in the history of BS. The Night Ranger top 11. Hey, I love uh, Night Ranger. <laughs> I, I didn't mind that one too much. 22, 22 views. Star Wars isn't doing that good. It's like Only 22? 47. Really? That's all Night Ranger had? 22. Oh, okay. That's a bomb, man. It yeah. destroyed. Star Wars destroyed it. It doubled it. Yeah, but the new episode is like fucking taken off. It's like almost eighty. Well, because it's Nirvana against Alice and uh, fucking Joseph. Uh, what 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 album would you pick? Well, I'm just saying yeah, bad, <laughs> bad finger. Let me say something. Bad fingers at ninety five now, dude. Well, yeah, because I mean, you know, it's bad finger. Bad what? fingers a good band, dude. They're not a horrible yeah. band. Dude. No, they're a good yeah. band. So what album? Like Charles, ask him what you were going to ask him. Joseph, a uh, quick just Nirvana uh, unplugged against Alice in Chains unplugged. Please, well, I'm, I'm, wearing sure. the Al- yeah, I'm wearing the Alice in Chains shirt, so <laughs> that's uh, that would be my pick. Yeah, I love but both it, albums, both but would albums it are destroy great. it like absolutely crush it. No, it'd be, it so. would be close, it'd be close. I think, I think so. track by track, it probably would crush it if you're doing track by track. I think they're both very good albums. I do, I do enjoy the Alice in Chains. Too more. many covers on the Nirvana one for me. Yeah, don't give yeah. me spoilers and people haven't seen that episode yet. It's still up. Yeah. It's oh, fresh. Too, uh, I went eight to six Nirvana. I was the only one that picked okay. Nirvana. Over. Yeah, it kicked off at the end, though, for me. The end was better. The end they are both great album. albums, though. But Nirvana had the worst track on both. That plateau. Oh, well, yeah. Or I thought it was... Uh, where did I sleep? Where did you sleep last night? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Something like that. I can't remember, but yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, apologies was great. No, that's great. Where did you yeah. sleep last night? 
Oh, that was I can't remember two, which yeah. one it was. There was a real. There's a dud that nobody liked in the bottom one. Plateau. Nothing but a cop and a bucket oh, yeah. and a mop and an illustrated book about birds. <laughs> oh my god! And I, I, I love their version of Man Who Sold the World too. Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> oh yeah, I picked that as a winner over that one. I'll, I'll be gen- I'll be generic though. My favorite unplugged album is Kiss. I can't say yet. We can't say. We it's going to be a series. Yeah, it's going to be a I series. Might... Hey, Joseph. <laughs> uh, what? Uh... I was I was so glad that they included this on the the vinyl uh, remaster series they did. I love having I this. On vinyl. I can't hide it. Kiss Unplugged is it's the best performance I think they've ever done. Yeah. Okay. If if Ace and Peter never came out on that, would it still be a great performance? Absolutely, yes. it was. Oh, I okay. think they so. only play on the last four songs. Yeah, it's absolutely the, was. But that's all I ever hear about that episode is oh, they came out. Kiss no, nerds are like rest, fucking sh- talking about shooting your load, Charles. I mean, you go, you no. go through. What do you mean coming what home? Me? Better, better, better than, than the, the better than the hotter than hell version. Plastic no, Caster is amazing. Going blind's amazing. All, World all without these heroes. songs. World, World without, without heroes. heroes, man. Yeah. Um, Paul does better a good there than of, on the Elder. Paul does a really good version of Sure Know Something. Um, Even that crappy fucking uh, Revenge. Yeah. Ballad. Yeah. Uh, every time I look at you, it wasn't that horrible. No, they do a really good. I couldn't believe how well Rock Bottom came off acoustically. That's a phenomenal version. And then Hard Luck, like, Woman. Hard Luck Woman. That's not on the CD, but it's on the vinyl. So it's uh, Got to Choose. The C tonight oh, is phenomenal. The, and the songs they didn't even include, like Heaven's mm-hmm. on Fire. Yeah, Heaven's on Fire. The really Great. Gene Simmons being funny during Spit. Um, God of Thunder. God it's of just Fun- a great performance. Thunder Country version. Yeah, you could you could just tell they were having such a great time with it, and that's what you can tell. You can tell they were it wasn't phoning it in like they are for the past like twenty years. Well, they saw dollar signs because Ace and Peter were coming back, man. But yes, Mark, <laughs> Ace and Peter came out in two thousand. Well, think, yeah, they, well, Kiss Gene and Paul were loving that whole cut the Kiss convention thing anyway. Yeah, they were they were really into that. I mean, you look at and, all the different. All the different videos, people like fan films and stuff like that of the conventions, they're having a great. They're throwing out deep cuts every single show. Yeah. They're just having a great time with it, and I think that even really on, comes even, across. Yeah, even even well, on the practice, Kiss, even on the yeah. Kiss cruises, man, they had some yeah, success, they love yeah. those. They love those like sail away. If shows. I could have afforded, if I could afford to go on one of those, I probably would, just because it would be fucking fun just to watch all those bands and yeah. watch Kiss perform a plug that would rule. But uh, so they, would so would Tim Bream. He's there. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> Isn't he there? The, the... Is he's, really? at the, he he's at the Monsters pic- of, He's at the Monsters of Rock yeah. cruise, yeah. Yeah, he just took a picture with Met Eddie Trunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Sonny Pooney's on the Kiss Cruise, isn't he? There, it's not the Kiss Cruise. Oh, right it's the Monsters, Monsters of Rock, it's Rock, Monsters Rock yeah. Cruise. Courtney's there. Courtney Cronin Doug. Yeah. Dog. I would yeah. go on one of those, too, if I can afford it, too. Oh, yeah. I want well, to I mean, go on the one. He's awesome. Courtney. Those... On behalf There's... of Freeform, we love you. Courtney who? Cronin Doig. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got we confused. love you. Yeah, I need to bring her on an episode. That'd be awesome. I she need to be that. drinking on that one because fucking... Yeah, I'm I'm have to get, I have to get Kristen Schembeck on one of our shows, too. She's oh, a cool yeah. chick. I need yeah. to be drinking on that one, too. There you go. Chick. When you keep asking about girls to bring on, Kristen <laughs> Schembeck. Come on. What okay. a freaking... What a sweetheart, man. Yeah. Uh, pick her, you guys pick... I'll let her pick the album. Yeah. She picked anything Lacey. she wants. And Lacey, come back. On. And I guarantee you, I'll like the album she picks. Lacey's busy. So, uh, <laughs> hey, man, yeah. we, we get this guy from Native Sons. That'd be cool. Those Ashton. guys are some cool dudes, man. Ashton he and looks a, like He looks like a girl. So, yeah. We, no problem. <laughs> I'm talking about interview. Oh. Uh, and we're still, I'm still waiting for your interview for Elaine or Eileen. If you get that one, yeah, cool. she ain't wrote back, I think, but they are in the states right now. <laughs> yeah, she ain't wrote back. No, all you right, love, man. I love you, Madeline. I love you. You're so, you're so beautiful. That's a cool band. That's a cool band, Eileen Charles. Man, they're they're cool, man. I thank you for introducing those to me. They're pretty, she's pretty, they're, they're, they're a cool band. So, all right, man, you guys want to leave? I guess. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know if you got anything more to say, man. We could talk about Ralph trolling everybody. <laughs> no, I love. Oh, Ralph. he's been. He's definitely been doing Dude, that a lot. I, I, I thought I, I, I thought I was the masturbator. He is the biggest masturbator of all. And people, that's and I, I'm true. calling out people following him, and he's going, "Well, they could follow me if they want. I'm not that's forcing." Not him. true. That's huh? not true. What? You are the king of trolls, right behind Mark Daly. No, 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 no. He's yeah. the king of instigating, man. That's yes. what works. <laughs> I start crazy. conversations. Ralph You're the kind of guy that's not his opinion. That's, that's it. it. It's well, just I think, I think, the I think with dude. Ralph, he just. Ralph just hit a point where he was tired of hearing people talk about certain bands, and now he's just going off about it. Yeah, I didn't. T- I didn't it. start the Duran Duran conversation. I don't know where that came from. I I did, but uh, uh, it's on record. And I never post Duran Duran in Rock and Metal Combat podcast or Sammy Hagar. Oh my God. I ever said people was John people Taylor's will not let it die radio. now. People yeah, will John, not let it die now. It is John everybody's Taylor, posting it. John Taylor's an underrated bass player. Mm-hmm. That's all I said. Yeah. For the I know, but I'm I'm just saying that now everybody's making post about the same thing that Ralph started. I said they're just following you. He says, well, they they're doing what they want, and I go, that's fine. But I just laughing because they're all following you. But you're the one who said it better. <laughs> I like that's your the, jokes better. That's the one. I just I I hate getting on Facebook right now because like the page is just so spammed with it. It's like yeah, every I, every post. I, I can't hey, our, even look our, at pay, our page isn't our page doesn't well no i mean that. like every everything everything that pops up on the rmcp page yeah it's every post it's everything that's is why i said backstreet, something in... backstreet boys slipknot duran duran that's why i said something at chris's thing i said well i liked it better when ralph does it you know <laughs> not to be offensive i'm just like this is getting old have fun with it and uh it is good it is when you on a rock or metal page say that Duran Duran is better than Slipknot. Now, I'm not trying to say Duran Duran is not better than Slipknot, but Slipknot is more metal. Yeah, it definitely put that on the wrong platform, Duran. dude. Definitely on the wrong platform. Because That's all I got to say. I'm not saying that they're, they're better. Wait a minute, Mark. I'm not saying that Duran Duran is not a better band in their realm and that new wave. They're not a boy band. They're new wave, whatever, maybe a better band. But in a metal world, there is no more in metal than if you see a Slipknot show. And that's the way it goes. If you like, I'm, saying, I'm not a fan of them, but you're right, Charles. They put on a good show, man. But what I'm saying Metal about Doctor Fuck putting up uh, uh, something better than Slipknot, uh, Cheap Trick better than Slipknot, Slipknot, right? So then I go, uh, that's genius. You know why? Because all you guys are commenting. You're commenting on it. That's stuff I like to do, and I'm watching, and I'm gonna. Probably make up something, hey. but not like that. But it's something I want to get people to talk about. I know I could pull out Hagar whenever I want to, and the page will get full of shit. That's it funny. Literally full of shit. It got a shit tons of hits on my silly Oasis group. That's all I can talk about. And <laughs> uh, but when it comes to a metal realm, whether you like Slipknot or not, get in the pit with them if you absolutely. Want. I agree. 100%. Absolutely. I, yep. I'm starting to like them now. I'm getting used to the the gory. I still, you guys are getting into harder. I'm getting into harder, but I'm getting into more blues and like old rock at the same time. So I'm in the middle and I still like the stockings and the rush. I, I like to hear everything. I don't like to stick yeah. in one side. Know, for some reason, people dislike Corey Taylor a lot. Because he talks I'm a lot. You. He does. Right. He, he, I love Corey Taylor. He's on he every, talk a lot. He's like, He's like Dave Grohl is. He's the face of metal. Why Dave Grohl is the face of rock? It gets kind of but boring. As, but as a front man, when you see spit it out live and how he controls that crowd, and you see twenty whatever twenty uh, thousands of people jump the fuck up when he says jump the fuck up, I mean, it's incredible. That's all I can say. If you've seen him live, you'll see what I'm saying. I, I saw him records? a couple of years ago. Oh Lord! And 
I've never seen a front man be able to hold a crowd in the palm of his hand for two hours like that before. The entire show. Every time he raised his hand, the crowd went nuts. Every time he did anything, the crowd was you, right you, there with you've him. You've never seen Tom Petty. No, it, it's, it's the same different. thing. It's different. It's different. No, but he's it's no different. wait. I'm talking about the hand movements got the people. He goes it's slow not, and they go, woo. You have not seen him jump the fuck up like on Spit It Out. He's, he yeah. stops singing and uh, the audience starts singing on cue. It's like, I'll tell you what, live? though. Have you seen in them live. I I said I like some Slipknot. I'm not arguing about that. But, but have seen, you seen them live? They, I, I no. I've seen them live on video, and they look good. No, in person. No. One time. I'm not see. complaining about them. When I know, you? but I'm saying one time go see them. And I'll tell you something that was one of the coolest concert experiences I ever had was at that show. Just the crowd, and we were uh my friends and I were up on the lawn. It was like a pavilion. We were up on the lawn, and one of my friends was getting into it like thrashing moshing and stuff his glasses flew off his face when everyone around us we started like, getting our phones out and looking for him because it was 10 o'clock at night we got our phones out and we're looking for his glasses and stuff every single person around us stopped moshing got their phones out and started looking for his glasses and we found him and miraculously nobody had stepped on him or anything oh but, shit man that, that well, the miracle. metal community is uh, fucking yeah. great it is. You see a that hundred... meme with the guy in a wheelchair, right? Yeah. Yeah. A couple. A, I just found a couple hundred people in the middle. It was in the middle of a song, in the middle of a Slipknot song. People stopped what they were doing, got their phones out, and found my friend's glasses. I was just like, it was, it was. And I and I love it when these bands will stop their show. If somebody's fighting in the audience and fucking yeah. kick the fuckers out. I love that, dude. Yeah, Absolutely. dude. Mark, there's footage of Corey Taylor at a Slipknot show. Slapping the phone out of a dude in the front in the front row's hand because he was paying attention to his phone and not the show. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. I like this when I record because I record for the uh our YouTube channel. I put it over my head, I look at it, see if it's good, and I'm like this watching the stage at all times. Oh, this dude was looking at Facebook or something. He oh, just, I don't do that. Fuck? I'm like th- I keep the I don't look through it on my five inch screen. I look who the fuck is looking at Facebook at a concert? What the fuck? Especially, Especially that, that, so that yeah. <laughs> maybe the they're fuck? writing they're at the concert. I don't know. Maybe we took a picture. Oh, maybe live. Uh, we uh, call that yeah, live. live, live phone. Phone. Guy was front row. Too. Yeah. To, to change the, the subject route. a little bit yeah. real quick, uh, some late breaking news. Did you guys see that the uh the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame fan vote came out? Uh-huh. Oh. The uh uh this is our daily laugh for today. Just the the people who like care about this stuff. Um George Michael won the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame fan vote with over 1 million votes. Cindy Lauper came in second with 928,000 votes. Warren Zevon came in third. I hate Warren Zevon. Iron Maiden came in fourth. That's not bad. With barely 400,000 votes compared to the million that George Michael You know had. why? Can I tell you why? Mm-hmm. No, because us people who like that type of music aren't voting in their shitty Exactly. Voters. But I, 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 lo- I love I love when pe- people are going to share this for the next week and like make a big deal out of it. And I have to laugh so hard because it's like, it, it's funny. If the metal the people, community people voted. People that put stock into that. If the metal community voted on those polls, it would fucking beat George Michael by a landslide. Thing is, we don't care about the rock and roll of fame because they don't care about us. And the thing is, I love George Michael, so fucking rad. <laughs> I love Wham. <laughs> it's not guilty pleasure. That motherfucker can sing. And I fucking love Father Figure. I love fucking uh, uh, the one song where he has all those models in. Yeah, I don't hate George Michael. Yeah, I, I don't hate him either. I want your sex. But he shouldn't be anywhere near a go. rock hall of fame. He is there rock. Was such well, a real I mean, rock. Iron, Maiden, Iron Maiden should have went in before him, but George Michael deserved to go in before Green Day. Yeah. First George, look. George I'm Michael, sure, George I'm Michael sure is Maiden, rock, dude. I'm sure Iron Maiden don't give two shits. He's they R&B. R&B, rock, R&B is rock. And that and that's what made me so mad last year was how much stock like Rob Halford was putting into it. Like Rob Halford got, cared. But then he got he pissed really off when he cared. found out they were just giving it to him. But that's why I'm, that's what I mean. He got so pissed off. He got, he was way too involved. And I'm just like, Dude, your no. fans don't give a shit. They went into the same category Ringo went in, which yeah. is like sideman category. So. Randy Rhodes too. They yeah. put Randy Rhodes in the same thing. 
and it's once, like, they band. Kiss, once they put in kiss i stopped caring yep and then the e street band <laughs> they well, went yeah that. this uh the band for bruce springsteen come that's on that's a great band iron maiden well, Go Bruce's on. band has been doing it longer than Iron Maiden. So if you want to go by seniority. Yet. Deep yes. Purple one yet. They yes. are. Finally. Hey, the best uh, speech ever at a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is Alex Lyson. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. The best was Johnny Rotten with the letter. That was the best. Yeah. I'm talking about a guy live on the stage just going blah blah blah. Didn't need to go. Yeah, he but this was better back. because he didn't even yeah. care enough to go. Suck um, my fucking ass. Wait, you know, yeah, you know why Rush great. went? Did you hear the band get applause before they even got on the stage? They know they were getting to Rush. Rush fans packed that fucking Microsoft Arena, and, and there were just thousands of Rush fans in there. And they they got the biggest response of any band, even Kiss. Had more, they had more Rush fans there than any other fans ever. And good for them. Yeah, that's because Kiss came on stage and said, "Who are those guys? They don't have makeup on." <laughs> yeah. well, Rush and Kiss are good friends, though, so you got to give it to them. Yeah. On that. Uh, right. Getty talked about the first time where he was. Hey, but I will stand up for the museum. Being a Northeast Ohio person, check out the museum. Great. Yeah, exhibit. it's a really cool museum. Yeah. Uh, there's Northeast Ohio and Ohio people working there, you know, help them out. It's worth going. But the way they I put it, go. motherfuckers, is wrong. Separate yep. entity completely. Yeah, but they're, start, the they're starting to get. It's awesome. They're starting but, to get more metal bands in there. And you got Dave Grohl in there who loves metal. Well, I mean, they're really people that are Metallica in before Iron Maiden. Metallica Fighters. is metal. Yeah. They get votes now. All the Deep Purple's in there. They get votes now. So you get yeah, all these. But there's there's bands Metallica that are never going to even get nominated. Look. So it's like whatever. Yeah. It's, you know it's what, not. You know what band should be in there? Is fucking Government Mule. <laughs> you know, you know what band should rules. be in there? Green Day. If you like a band, you don't wish them to be in there. That's. You know, well, Foreigner should be in there, but Foreigner got yelled at saying you'll never get in here. Foreigner, yeah. Sticks, none of those bands were Kansas. None of those bands are ever. Well, they said that about cool. Journey, too, and they finally had to let them in. But damn it, Mark, GNR and you 2 went first fucking look. God damn it. That's what draws us together, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you 2 selling out the freaking it went into the that pricing thing that ticket because every because they're selling out every fucking show there. Man. I want to. I wanted to go, dude. And they had reasonable prices, one forty with dude, all. Dude, you ain't going included. to Vegas to go see the goddamn fucking shit. No, no, sucks. I wanted to go. I wanted to see that new theater. It's state of the art. The Octung Baby fucking bullshit. I, know, I love that fucking <laughs> album. Doing that whole album. Yeah. Why can't they do one of their fucking good albums? Why what the I fuck? The that was a game changing album. Yeah, no, wasn't. They, yeah, did the them becoming shitty. weak wussy fied fucking oh, bull you know that yeah. you know that album's on my list for a future review i mean do joshua tree or something dude i'll be on assignment thing. i think yeah, we dude. did joshua tree oh did you all right i don't know we mm-hmm. might have no i'm talking Lee. about you too doing a whole album Lee back on octung baby for that week <laughs> oh, i'm good that I, sucks. Through, I had to suffer through pop, man. I don't you, think I uh, Jerry, yeah, that's true. He had to go through pop. You got to come back you, on. You two hasn't put a good album out since Live Under a Blood Red Sky. You know, I'm Love getting all. good. Re- <laughs> we're, we're getting good response from that pop album. 95 downloads. So far. I don't know why. <laughs> 96 oh, just to see, sucks. Just, just to see, are they actually going to talk about it? Did these people yeah. actually listen to that album? Yes. Holy fuck, Miami. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, terrible. man. Oh, God. That was torture, man. And I was, and I, and I did not read my notes because I don't want to offend Joseph that much, but it was it was a lot worse than I, you know, criticized. No, it was, Bob it was Bob Hay. It was Bob Hay. Bob Hay, that's it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Wrong guy. But, uh, oh, yeah, he's I just. smart. He said under a blood red sky. Yeah, he's a good one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that I was I would go with Unforgettable Fire was good, though. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, there was some stuff on there. We're yeah. gonna review just, this one day. Bring that? me on for that shit. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. What was yeah. it? I didn't see it. Oh, made in Japan. Made in Japan. 
Oh, well, yeah. we're going to do after Mark's choice of a live album, Joe. I, I don't want to bring up his, but when I pick mine, Fog Hat Live. Maybe you'd be Ooh, interested yes. in that. Yes. Fuck yeah. yeah. Do you like Bob Seger? Yeah. Which okay. which one? A live which one? Bullet. I prefer Nine Tonight, but I, I love Everybody Live Bullets. Everybody says good. that. Well, it's 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 all it's it's when he started actually putting out hits. Like there's like two hits on Live Bullet, uh, and everyone thinks that's the best live album. But... Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that album. I don't know. Well, dude, Bob is a great thing to do a retrospective about his yeah. whole fucking career, dude. That would be yeah. a Fuck out live, dude. It's like thirty minutes of just fucking awesomeness, dude. I it... just want to make love the, to you. The one for the road by Leonard Skinner. Yeah, where's that's that at? I got. Live album. Get oh, me on that. It. If you guys are doing that one, get me on that. That's one of my well, favorite eventually live Eventually, we will do the greatest live album ever, Who Live It Leads, which is pure live. The greatest one. No studio trickery. Not like Rush Live at Rio. That's a good one. I bet there's studio trickery. Though. I like Heel I, Fest 2 Live. Oh, there it is. One I, I would buy it if they had it. Just, to re- <laughs> just for the... <laughs> To share it with the world. All right, guys, I got to run, man. Yeah, man, I was just going to end it. So, Charles, anything closing to say? No, man. Fucking, I love the show tonight. Sorry I was delayed coming on. I'm a popular dude. I am a star. And uh, only on Freeform. BS, I'm just the angry get-off-my-lawn guy. By the way, if you didn't know, it's at home. What's what's coming on BS this week? We're doing uh, the top uh, albums of 1977, <laughs> Jerry. Yep, Jerry. Yep, pick. and two surprise guests. We don't want to say who yet. Yep, not until Monday. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, take the Joseph. Joseph. Thanks for being on our free form episode and this video. And uh, yeah. we're gonna. I'm gonna invite you on the Fog Hat Live whenever we get it done. I think in June we'll do that so. yeah and we have a we have a cool bs coming up at the uh end of next month too so yeah I'm excited for that one cool so uh yeah. joseph anything to say uh buy music love, love music cds they're great buy a lot of them physical um, music absolutely physical, physical media go yeah. out support your local <clears throat> stores go out record store day was this past week go out and look support your local stores even magazines books movies buy yeah. it all physically man Better. Clearly, as you can see behind me, I'm a connoisseur of physical media. So, uh, me too. <laughs> Movies and fucking records everywhere. Freaking, uh, Jerry. I bet I pretty much just, you know, repeat what Joseph just said there, man. Buy physical media, man. Great show tonight. Great video here, as usual. Um, looking forward to the next upcoming shows, man. Should be interesting. Some of the stuff we're coming up with. So, uh, looking forward to it. All right, man. And we got Charles's birthday episode coming up soon. Uh, yeah, and I got a request. On right. that. I'll tell you later. You're going to change your song. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I got, I got a request, and I'll tell you later. All right. All right, guys. Take it easy. Take care. Bye. Peace. Oh, make sure and thumbs up and share. Later. Share, like, subscribe. Bye-bye.